Welcome, Mr. Wilbur Ord, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. See, that's, um, yeah, I'm French. That's why I look like a hipster. Um, so, you know, that's, that's just a Saturday for me. That's just how we roll. <laughs> any, uh, any French people in the room? Give us a shrug. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm, uh, well as you can see, the French very much loved. I mean, he doesn't look great, I'm making a piss out of us. Because <laughs> we're, we're EU migrants, you know, we, we jump the queue, that's a big thing. And uh, I mean, it doesn't sound like much, but like, you have to remember, uh, amongst the English, accusing someone of queue jumping, it's pretty much the grossest crime. I mean, the British Empire has provided, presided over pillage and genocide, but queue jumping, whoa, chill out, man. So yeah, and I'm, I'm getting a bit like apathetic and, and tired about the whole Brexit thing. I think it's just some kind of fatigue, some kind of overexposure. But I notice that people still, on both sides, are really turning into zealots. You know, and I've had to ask myself, is no zeal better than bad zeal? <laughs> <laughs> Got in there. Yeah, uh, politically I'm apathetic, but spiritually I'm a radical Buddhist. Yeah. So you've, you've probably not heard about us, the radical Buddhists, they don't talk much about us in the media, but we're here, uh, waiting. Uh, mark my words, we have vowed to unleash a wave of tranquility and compassion upon the West. And believe me, it's a fucking tall order. Because, I mean, you look around, you know, in the radicalization space. The big players at the moment are busy the Islamists. I mean, whether you like what they do or not, you get to admit they've cornered the market since the early 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> well, those guys, they want to bring the West down. But that's, that's easy. That's entry level. I mean, look, the West is already doing that on its own. <laughs> With democracy, and of all things. An irony that shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be lost on us. But, well, yeah, radical Buddhist. Uh, my story is pretty, it's pretty standard. You know, I was radicalized online. I was in my, my late 20s. I was feeling, <laughs> I was feeling at odds with, with the values of Western, you know, consumerist. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's fine. No, take it. It's fine. You don't want to leave it on red, man. You need to slide into those DMs. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I was very closed online. Yeah, I was in my, my like thanks. So I was in my late twenties. I was I was feeling disgruntled. You know, not really the values of capitalist, consumerist. And so I saw um, come across a recruitment video uh, on YouTube. I still remember it. It was called Twenty Minute Meditation: Colon Sounds of Nature. <laughs> Have you seen it? It's good, right? And, it, and I, thought, I thought it made some pretty good points. Yeah. Um, then that's how it all started. And from then I got hooked up and with some podcasts, some blogs, and you know I got under the spell of some radical kindness preachers. I was exposed to kindness speech. This is how it happens. So every every fortnight or uh, so now I I go and meet my sangha, my my cell of radical Buddhist. We we plot, we scheme, we plan random acts of kindness. Um, and then often we go for a curry, because we're Buddhist, we believe in karma. So the end is all puns, so you can like that. There, were, there was talk of, uh, of chartering a jet to fly to Tibet, but I don't, I don't know about that. I think those guys are just looking for an excuse to get on a higher plane. <laughs> right. Okay. No, Buddhists, Buddhists don't worship the Buddha. The Buddha is not a god. The Buddha is the Buddha is not even the Buddha technically. The Buddha is a Buddha. Um, Buddha just means awakened one. So the Buddha is just a man, just a dude, just a bloke. Good lad. Good lad, the Buddha. And 2,500 years ago, he he attained what we call awakening, or also called enlightenment, making the Buddha, if you think about it, both woke and lit. <laughs> he was ahead of his time in that, in that respect. Um, yeah, so a Buddha, not the Buddha. You don't, you don't hear much about that. You don't hear the Christians saying, oh, Jesus is one of the sons of God. Yeah, couldn't keep in his pants. Uh, you don't hear the Muslims saying that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is one of his prophets. No, we, they, they're much more, you know, we're much we're more open. There's a, there's a, yeah, it's, it's nice to kind of be slightly less... Directive. I think everyone can call themselves a Buddhist, provided you ascribe to a couple of basic principles that boil down to don't be a dick, and share the fuck out. <laughs> there's loads because there's loads of different kinds of Buddhism. Um, you know, you don't have to be a radical Buddhist. There's something for everyone. There, there are people that will commit with kind of very formal cults, and there's people that are only really looking for casual sects. <laughs> and then of course you've got <laughs> slow burner that one. Uh, and then of course you've got you've got mindfulness these days. It's all about mindfulness. It's all the rage. Um, and it's 
It's good, but it's sort of secular. It's ultimately a secular approach to meditation. But its detractors think it's kind of Buddhism by the back door. You know, some kind of lighter, spreadable version of Buddhism. Like, I can't believe it's not Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I'll leave you on this. Thank you very much. Yay! Keep it going for Will Barad.